Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tyson and today at the warehouse I'm doing a quick review of the Easton S7 hockey stick. Uh, it's a nice looking price point stick from Easton. You get some nice features on it as well as having an affordable price. Um, so taking a look at the shaft of this stick, um, it's a pretty uh, traditional shaft design as far as the upper portion goes. Easton has used what their um, a Kevlar wrap on the shaft and um, so basically what this is going to do is by having that material wrapped around the outside of the stick is it's going to increase the overall durability and strength of the stick. Um, also one nice feature that a Kevlar wrap does is it's going to help take away some of the vibrations that might run through the stick um, so it has a nice solid feel to it. Uh, one thing different about uh, this Kevlar wrap compared to some of the others that you've probably seen on previous Easton sticks is you don't feel that Kevlar material at all. It has a very smooth uh, traditional coating on it. Um, this particular stick also is not in a grip coating uh, so it's going to be just that smooth traditional coating. Uh, the shaft construction here is going to be your traditional square design meaning that you're going to have the flat sidewalls and not overly rounded corners. Um, so it's going to have just a nice traditional feel in your hands. Um, you don't have the double concave walls or anything like that. And then as we get down here a little bit closer to the bottom, uh, this is where they're going to have the ultra taper. Um, basically it's just going from your traditional width up here down to a lot thinner profile, giving you that low kick point and that nice responsive feel you expect from a one piece. Uh, this stick also is having Easton's elliptical profile on it. It's definitely not as per, um, pronounced as say the S19 is, um, but it does start right about here. Um, basically what it is, is going from the flat sidewalls is you get a little bit of a bow to it, a little rounded feel. Um, you still kind of have your four sides. It's not completely circular, kind of more similar to the S19, um, but that elliptical profile, it is going to increase the blade rigidity and give you a little more responsive feel. So you'll know where that puck is on your blade when you're playing. Um, that also brings us to the blade portion of the stick. Now they're using what they're calling the micro bladder. Um, basically what this is, is it's their process of fusing the blade to the shaft during the molding process of the stick's construction. Um, that's going to give it a nice responsive feel. Um, it's not just going to be your you know, simple inserted and painted over it type uh, one piece stick construction. And then also as far as the blade go, you have a multi rib construction. Um, so basically what this is, this is kind of a nicer uh, blade construction from Easton. What it's doing is it delivers a nice consistent feel throughout the blade. So you have that same stiff feeling in the heel as you do on your toe. Um, that's going to be nice when you're taking your shots. It's going to be um, predictable as far as the feel of the puck on the stick. You're not going to have a different feel in the toe as you do on the heel. Um, so that's always a nice feature as well. Um, going on from there to take a look at the overall um, stick and kind of the overall feel of the stick. Um, like I said, with those, uh, that traditional shaft construction, you're going to have a very traditional feel to it. Um, also, this stick is a little blade heavy. Um, it's, not, it's not too blade heavy for the price point of the stick, but it is going to have a lot more weight down at the bottom than on the top. Overall, uh, it's a pretty nice looking stick from Easton. Once again, this is the S7 hockey stick here at Inline Ice Warehouse.